Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, check it out. All new studio setup. I've been bored with my office slash studio setup for months, but because I haven't been shooting videos like this and I've only been doing Monkey in the Wild and because I've been so freaking busy with day job and I was sick for like two months and all I did was hat cough. So it's been a hell of a like three, four, five months and I'm just now starting to like, <sighs> okay, time to get shit done. So yesterday we were getting Virginia Beach's version of the outskirts of the uh, hurricane, Hurricane Helene, Helena, whatever the hell her name is. And we didn't get it nearly as bad as North Carolina. Thank you, North Carolina, for always taking the brunt of any hurricane, but it cut inland and hammered North Carolina and the other side of the state. But it still rained like crazy here and was pretty windy, so I couldn't do anything. So what was I gonna do? And I sat here and I thought, okay, I had two calls yesterday. I've had a very successful b m couple of weeks, so much so that although I didn't hit my September goals, I already hit my October goals and probably most of my November goals and even into December. That's how good it's been. So I felt I deserved to take the rest of the day yesterday to myself. I mean, it wasn't till like three o'clock, so it was pretty much the end of the day anyways. But I went to three ships, hung out for a little bit. Here's shit in your eye. In between rain squalls, four got really bad and then I came home and I'm like, okay, it's so early, what the hell am I gonna do? And I thought, you know what? I have been meaning to like clean up in here because I had shit everywhere. Like the desk in front of me is still covered with stuff because I haven't either opened it or put it away yet. And I'm like, all right, I've got to do something. <sighs> Maybe I'll take like the, the stuff that was on the wall, which was just basically like a black um, sheet, if you will, and take that off and then pull all the stuff off the walls and uh, you know, like the tapestry, I had the Japanese tapestry with the cherry blossoms on it, I pulled everything off and I was going to paint everything like a dull black. And then I thought, no, I fucking hate painting. So I pulled it off of this side and I had to fix all the holes that were left from the staples. So I smoothed everything out and, and painted the holes. And then I was like, I sat down and I started recording, you know, talking. And I'm like, oh my God, that sounds like shit. It was so reverberating from, from the walls being bare that uh, I didn't like it at all. So I was like, all right, I know this side still had the sheet on it. I'm like, what the hell did I do with the other sheet? Long story short, I found out tonight when I was taking the sheet down from this side that what I had done was unraveled this side and just folded it over and put it on this side and restapled it. So there were double staples up there. And as I was pulling it down, I'm like, how the hell is this thing still hanging here? And then I looked and I was like, oh, freaking idiot. That's what you did with it. You left it there, but you just folded it over so you didn't have to cut it and take everything down. So I pulled the whole thing down. I had to repaint because it pulled a lot of paint off with it. And I painted all along this wall. And then, you know, I decided that I was going to use the sound tiles from this side, you know, because I still had a, an entire batch that I hadn't opened yet and put them on this side. So I did all that. I got all the sound tiles up and I even put some up on the ceiling, like right above where I sit, just so that it, it, it absorbed as much sound as possible. Now it sounds great. And then I took my light and I put a little angle bracket on there into the wall just a minute ago so that I have something that's sort of like backlighting me and, and you know, just, I don't know, making it a little bit better. Um, and I'm still looking at the screen, which is just off to the, to the right of the camera lens here, just so that I can see what it looks like as I'm doing all this. Now, I did this in such a way that, okay, that's, I have the uh, Sigma 10 to 18 on here. So that's all the way out at 10. Basically, that's the window right on the other side here. It goes outside. Um, and I was like, well, that doesn't look good at all. So this is all the way in at 18, which is probably a little bit better for a talking head because then it's just my chest and, and my melon, but I don't like it. So I zoomed it out right so that it's just past the thingy around the window, you know, and then it cuts off over here, um, sort of like a quarter of the way 
maybe halfway into the sound tile and then there's still one more row out there um, just to try to get it all in there. Angle the, the, the little desk table that I have here again and put myself right in the middle. And now the center line on the camera goes right through the middle of my melon and through the center where the wall meets. Now I can lean all the way back here and these are the two different walls meeting into the corner of the house. Unfortunately, I just don't have that much space in here that I can move shit around and have a big thing and I could do photos and all that crap, eh, ain't happening. So uh, I haven't used this setup in a long time and I was like, I should just get rid of all this crap because it's taking up space and I'm just putting junk on top of it. And then I thought, no, I bought all this crap for a reason. So I had that little tree that has all the arms on it and I had that little June uh, light thingy over there. And then I have my, uh, uh, like an LED panel with a diffuser softbox on it, plus uh, like a honeycomb grid on it. And, uh, you know, same thing over here with the, with the uh, June thing. I still have my Action 3 mounted there if I wanted to get a separate angle, but I don't at the moment anyways. And then I have the, uh, right now, the A6700 mounted like pretty much right even with my melon. And then I lifted the chair up all the way. So uh, yeah, why did I do all this shit? Well, because that's what dumb monkeys do. We, we change shit around because we get bored and we want to do something else. I have everything set up. I mean, it was already set up. I just had to maneuver it in a different way to get it set for this. And then I had to do something with the background. I didn't want to just have it all blue. I didn't want to have it black. At one point when I pulled everything off, this whole wall was black. This whole wall was blue. And I thought, well, I'll just have a black and blue. And I kept looking at it and it was just jarring and it bothered me. So that's why I decided, you know what, especially since it sounds like shit, I'm putting the sound tiles up. That's what I bought those damn things for. And they've been sitting in my garage ever since. So that takes care of that. I didn't go out on the road this last week because it was week six for me. Um, and this coming week, I'm not going out because it's the beginning slash end of the month and it's going to throw off my schedule. Uh, so I'm going to be home and doing a lot of day job stuff to get ready for the next six weeks. Uh, well, for the next quarter, because the, the fourth quarter is always the, the, the shittiest quarter and every quarter this year has been shitty. So it can only get worse, right? So I want to be prepared for that. So I got a lot of stuff to do. I have in my head what I need to get done each day and all that kind of crap. And then the following week, I am going to be on week one of my route, but I'm going to do it in reverse and finagle around with it because I want to end up on that side of the state so that I can leave that morning and drive up to my dad's. My dad's not doing all that well and I need to get home. So I want to go home and see him. I say home, there's no home for me to go to. And I just found out that my friend isn't able to move into her house for at least another month. And I was hoping that she was in her place so that I had a place to stay. So now at this point, I'm going to have to get a hotel. Okay, I I've laid out you know, monkey land for you now because th there's just so much shit going on. All right, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to throw something together, tell you what's been going on. I'm not doing a monkey in the wild this week because I wasn't able to really get out and do anything because of the rain and all that shit. And, you know, I just have other shit to do. So I've missed doing this as well. And I'm going to start doing more of it. Hence, redoing my studio. Not only am I going to be doing Monkey in the Wild, but I am going back to just the normal vlogging my daily life. Keep an eye out, you know, keep watching because uh, I'm going to try to be doing a lot of different stuff. But uh, anyways, enough of that. You know, I'll, I'll bring you along as it happens and give you an idea. I'm not going to go and say, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next six months because shit never works out like that. <sighs> if you have any, this is weird because I haven't done this in so long. That's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.